Once we've created a training data set and trained the machine learning algorithm, we of course want to apply the trained model to our airborne hyperspectral data set. Therefore, we will use yet another of the agricultural applications. Please select Applications from the main menu again, open the Agricultural Applications suite, and select the Vegetation Processor. But this time, choose ANN Inversion. In the panel that pops up, we first need to select a model, which we do by loading our recently created one. In my case, that is the AgriMOOC doc metafile stored in folder 3. Next, we select the input image to which the ANN should be applied, as the Averis NG image of the Erlbach area is already open in the Nmap box, we can simply select it from the drop-down menu. Then, we define the output image, for example, in the fourth folder provided, and I will just call this one Agrimook again. Now, as we want to retrieve biophysical variables, it makes sense to consider only biologically active surface areas. Therefore, we could use a mask image to restrict the application of our model to such areas. However, since we do not have a mask image of the Erlbach area, we check the NDVI threshold box to the right and set a limit of 0.0, .0 to mask any non-vegetation pixels. Some datasets come with very complex geometries stored in their metadata. However, the geometry of our image is known, and thus, can be set to a sun zenith angle of 30 degrees and an observer zenith and relative azimuth of 0 degrees. Finally, check all the four boxes to the right to produce outputs for four biophysical variables at once. Again, the button at the bottom leads you to detailed instructions on the use of this tool provided on the Nmap box website. Once we have set all the entries, we can run the ANN. First, the input image is read. Then, the NDVI threshold is applied. And then, one by one, the four variables are retrieved from the hyperspectral image and stored in a newly created raster file. Depending on the computational power of your machine, the application of the model may take a while, but of course, not as long as the training. You can simply close the dialog, and also the input file if you want and click on the green icon with the cross in the data sources window to load the final result file from folder 4, agrimook.bsq. The new file consists of four bands, each containing information on the four biophysical variables that we selected to be modeled. We can display the results as map by right-clicking on the raster image file, selecting open in existing map and default colors. And wow, what a beautiful image. We now simultaneously see the information on leaf area index, LAI for short, in red on the leaf inclination in green, and chlorophyll distribution in bluish colors. This RGB image displays an intuitive view of the subtle gradients of these crucial biophysical variables within the individual agricultural fields. On May 30th, 2021, the fields that were covered by dense vegetation with a high LAI are mostly winter wheat fields that appear in pinkish colors, while all fields with less green vegetation at the time of observation are displayed in greenish and bluish colors. Of course, it's most interesting to zoom into the dataset and interpret the spatial patterns. The information content of this image is really immense. However, how does this information relate to reality? Let's find out together.